Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I have another of my 100 easy cards. So I have prepped a little bit. I did kind of, in, I don't know, invent it <laughs> at my cup and cards this morning. Um, so at cup and cards this morning, I gave... I put in the middle of the table a big pile of die cuts from the reindeer fun dies. There's a lot of standalone dies in here that like don't actually go with the stamps. So I just cut loads out and the ladies had the best time. I did it all on white, basic white card, and they coloured them in. They used the watercolour pencils, the mark, stamp right markers, and our blends. And they had a great time, and the cards are absolutely fab. I had a wee play once I got everyone settled, and I made a card using these, this holly leaf cut out. I had several of them. And the ladies didn't seem to be using those, so I thought, oh, I think I can do. I, I'm pretty sure I have seen someone, seen a card by someone doing faux embossing with this die. If that was you, then thank you for the inspiration. I haven't gone back looking. It's just sometimes you there's things in your head and you think, well, I think that will work here. So, uh, did I get glue ready? I did do some prep, but not completely, am I? Um... I've got some glue bottles at the moment I'm using up, so I'm not sure what ones work and which ones don't. So let's have a look. So I've got, I've cut out Christmas. I've got the Stamp Happy. That's from Peaceful Season. So I've die cut Christmas and I'm going to Stamp Happy. Stamp Happy because that's my hat. So this is the die I used from the Reindeer Fun dies. I'll pop that up so we don't lose it. And I'll show you the Christmas dies when we get there. So let me just see if I can. I don't want too much glue on here because I didn't realise that the one I did earlier today probably had too much glue on it. Now, this is supposedly random, but I'm not sure if I'll achieve random. If you're not a regular crafter, you probably realise that random's actually almost impossible to achieve so really so again there's nothing ha this would take a wee while this card because you need maybe about nine or ten of these die cuts so you need to get them cut out so basically this will give an effect of full embossing See, that's a bit of a big blob. I don't want it coming scushing out. But equally, you need enough that this will stay put. Let me just do some more down here first and see what happens. Don't worry about the bits hanging off. They will get trimmed. It will probably, hopefully, have the effect of this having just been chopped from a bigger sheet. At this point, you could start cutting the extra bits off and slotting them in because I've given myself plenty cuts here. I'll just continue with whole ones and then cut them all off. just need this maybe 
might just go in there, do you think? Maybe. I don't know, do I need one in there? Should I just cut off? Right, I had my snips ready as well. Where have they gone? Come on. Here they are. Now, if I'm very careful just snipping this one, i be able to just pop that coming in. Go with the angle of the cut that you've just made. trim all these off and then I'll just look and see what that some of them I've still got I've got glue on those bits so right let's see that big one maybe come in there Probably enough to be honest. I don't think I don't think we need much more there because so then it's all very easy now. What I did here was with these dies we have this die which cuts out a background for that die. Or, if you stamp that word Christmas and use that die, we'll cut your word out. So clever. Stamping up, I think, of almost everything. They really are. The artists are quite good. So I'm probably going to have the Christmas there. So I thought I'd stick this on, get this together. In fact... I'm going to pop this onto my card base if I can find it. So let's pop this. So this could be a white on white card, but I decided that I would have other colour in it. And of course, for this 100 cards challenge, I did remember, say, have Knight of Navy in every card. So we will have Knight of Navy in here. But do you see what a lovely background that just makes? And still they're recognisable as Holly leaves. I'll pop that over there. So I don't want to lose any of these dies. Pop that up there. Now I've cut the background out in Night of Navy and I've got this. Now I should have had my tweezer. Uh -huh. I've got these tweezers. So what I need to do is get the backing, the sticky backing off first. Because I used the, the we had, I'm sorry about that, ping and I thought I'll switch that off on my other device. Oops, I need to get this to spring back in. It is worth the faff to use the sticky sheet when you're doing something as thin as this because when you're not going to have... It is very sticky though. Right, so let's just aim the T at the T. Hmm. 
I will dot my eyes. Don't worry. Just want to help this to be in. There you go, look. Now, see, I've still got the dot for my eye. Now, is the backing going to come off that or not? It's very small, isn't it? I wonder if I just put a wee dot of glue here because life's too short to fight with. Now, I'm not quite sure which way around it goes now. Let me see. You know what they say, dot your I's and cross your T's. I'm sure that will hold. It'll just take a bit longer because the backing of the sticky paper is a sort of like a waxed paper. Yeah, that's fine. So let's get rid of that. And then I would put that on dimensionals. I'm just seeing if I can turn down the volume, it won't talk to me. Right, let's just get some dimensionals. Now, I think I might have some black mini dimensionals. The black comes in a multi-pack, so you can get um, minis, you get minis and the normal size. And these are quite good because they don't show, obviously, if you're, the thing you're putting on is white, you would use white dimensionals. Because this is very dark, I think that will be fine. Uh, do I need, does that fit on there in any way? No, I could cut it in half. Probably doesn't really need it, but just so that we know. And then just take the backing off. We'll stick this to the card. Put that over there, out the way. So no wet glue mess on this, but because sometimes, sometimes you can get yourself in a whole tangle with wet glue. So there we go, Christmas. Now I'm happy. I thought I had. I thought I had a scrap. Well, here's one. But I just want to stamp happy. I am stamp happy. <laughs> just going to cut, stamp it right there in that corner. And then quite simply... Chop it with my snips. I 
And I'm just going to pop that just about there do you think oops sliding right so now we need to get oh, look I've got many white ones so we're in business here it's, it's stuck itself under there <laughs> okay so and then just some bling we'll have another I, I honestly think this probably can qualify for clean and simple as well as easy. Do you know what? Really, all cards are easy when you know how. All techniques. There's really not much that's complicated. As they say, it's easy when you know how. It's just the unknown sometimes. I know I've put off trying some techniques. I think I might put that one at a slightly jaunty angle. Oops, whoops, whoops. Right, what do you think? Is it likely that I'll be able to find... I'll be able to find this it's right beside me right and i put put the cover on the pokey bit for safety put the lid on my glue because i don't think i need that anymore and let's just make sure the three dies are there yep okay so now it needs some berries and i've decided that night of navy berries will be very cool and so what i have done is I have taken my, I, I did this till I, early to let it dry, but I'll just show you all I did, was I've got these clear rhinestones, rhinestone basics, and I've just taken the bullet point of my a Knight of Navy, and I just... Because this is an alcohol pen, the alcohol will evaporate and the colour will stay behind on a start hard surface. There you go. And so I've done quite a few because I think I might need quite a few. Because I'm thinking I'm going to have clusters of berries that are blue. <laughs> Why not? Just because I can. So I'm just putting wee groups of three. I'm using all the sizes. I hope you'll agree with me that this makes quite a classy wee card. Because as we see in Scotland, I'm a classy lassie. <laughs> well, I'd like to think I am. <laughs> you may think different. Where will these ones go? It's maybe we're maybe we're a bit over the top, but we don't mind. It's a more is more day, even though it's on a clean and simple. That one's getting more. See? 
they don't all have to be the same. Everything in Mother Nature doesn't make everything the same. So there you have it. I'm loving that. That could end up being my our, our Christmas cards that I send out. I will, I will send out a lot of the other ones too. I won't waste them. But I think that might be my signature card this year. I love it. I'm easy please, damn it now. So anyway, that's another of our 100 cards. So obviously we've used Night of Navy ink, Night of Navy stamping blends, Peaceful Season dies, Fabulous set, and the Reindeer Fund dies, another fabulous set. I honestly turned my nose up at the Reindeer at first. I thought, no, they're not for me. Well, how wrong I was. I am loving them. So don't always go with your gut instinct because sometimes it's just wrong. But anyway, I'm just tidying a bit. And so we'll move these bits, extra bits out of the way because I will take a photograph once I sign off. If you've not already subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. Please press the, L, the bell icon even so you get notified when I'm coming on again and please share this out with anyone you think might be interested thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one